So a week ago, I wrote on my Facebook page at seeing if anyone had questions for me to answer to send me a message and I would answer the questions in a video. Well, I got so many questions, I decided to put them into two different videos. This video is going to be with the questions that deal about my disability and growing up and advice. And the second video is going to be questions like what my favorite movie, book, and so on. So if I don't answer no question in this video, I'm going to answer it in the second video. I'm going to say the full name and then say the question in my answer. And I'm really sorry if I say no name wrong. The first question is from Gabby. And see what is a taxi a taxi is uncontrollable shakes and jokes. The next question is from Maureen, and she says, My gun Sand is 10 years old and he has CP. When the mom ever told what area on her brain lost oxygen, did it happen at both? My mom isn't so what part of my brain lost oxygen, but my mom had to have an emergency C section because the umbilical cord had a knot and was around my neck, and I was without oxygen for seven minutes. Wave a light stops TDL as I would like to hear about us planning a morning to walk or age. Why then? How did it feel? Did it really well? Or was it fun? I the walking well at the age of five with a walker and leg braces. When I in the fog game, I mean the two full on crutches. And when I was the age of nine, I started walking on my own. As I tried the walking, they wear me out with my class. Went on fair trip to my elementary school had evacuation drills. I was placed in a stroller or a walker. Now I can walk longer, but I still get pretty tired. On. Sailor at can you tell me not a Tennis tended to talk and walk what one of four ones and how did he manage to do not fault tech? Well in the question before that one I'm turning the angel when I started walking I managed to take my thoughts tap with lots of therapy. I sent my foot worn at 11 months on and it was uh-oh. I had a lot of therapy. I turned this therapy around the age of four and start taking it when I was four. And on. I started talking in complete sentences and 
talking more to people at the age of seven. Wave a light stops to the arrest. What about when they get to a really bright fire on who is struggling to learn to walk? To keep trying? I know it's hard at first, but if you keep trying, you will get there. If you believe you can do it, you will do it. Hating it for not acts. On the parents, on the family, over protective over you. No. Like anyone else's parents, they remind me to be careful when they're doing something, but they're not over protective. Then growing up, they let me do things other kids my age did so I could be like all the other kids. Alisa asks, do you need to eat no different? Bernadine makes no family closer than others. I think we're for without my disability. My family will be as close as we are now. Alisa also asks, how do the parents feel about me dating? My parents think they great and they really like my boyfriend too. So that's awesome. Alisa also asks, I have a family member with CP. I can see that it is hard for her mom to let her go out into the world of love. Does her mom feel like this? And how does she deal with these day-to-day issues? She let me do the things I really want to do. I went to my 11th game homecoming by myself and she let me but I called her to put, pick me up an hour later in tears. I never brought her heart to see me that way but she knew that was part of my growing as she uses prayer to get her from my experience. Melissa asks, do no disability hurt physically? My disability has caused some physical pain, like in the high school. I was having a lot of knee problems and they were hurting and it was because of the way my disability makes me walk. So now I wear a leg brace every day to help with my knee problems. Also, another time my hand in a physical pain was a second day at this. You want that past summer? My back started really hurting, and I believe that because of how much walking I was doing, but the next day it went better after resting. And sometimes when I jog, it can hurt too. Next question is from Deborah. She asks, my question may be for your mother. How does she party train you? I have a grandson with CP and he's seven. Lots of patients and accordance. Man, a good job, take a paper with fun. But 
but because of my disability with muscle control, I wasn't potty trained until the age of five. Lisa asks, my son has CP, he is sex and is having a hard time with frustration with added therapy and like eating. Any ideas would be helpful. When I was in elementary school, I would pull out a couple times a week for physical therapy and speech therapy and at times I didn't like it because I wanted to stay in class and do the things my classmates were doing. I also have physical therapy and speech therapy at home. And to make it more fun, they would play games with me that would go along with the therapy. So maybe playing some games and another idea for physical therapy is hot back riding. I did it as a child and I really enjoyed it. Mark asks, when you were growing up, did you ever get mad or upset about things that didn't go your way? A few times, I remember one year in elementary school, I failed in my class and playing tug of war. But my aunt didn't want me playing it, so I got upset about it. But at the time, I didn't realize she didn't want me to fall and get hurt. Kendra asks, what advice do you have for parents or young babies or children with CP? Never give up hope that things can get better for no child. My parents were told I would be in a wheelchair and possibly wouldn't be able to talk. But I can walk on my own and talk and do so much more. I know sometimes parents with special needs children get worried about their child doing things, but not doing the things other kids their age are doing. Not doing kind of wins and not doing try new things. That never give up and help their child continue to move. For one, this is what my parents did, and I'm so glad they did it. So at during high school, I had an intake, then went on the test and homework. During test, I was sent to a different room in the school on the kids that had difficulties with testing or needed more time on tests would be sent to the room. I went there so I had more time on my tests because I like struggle and it that take me longer because of that. Homo was a struggle because I would had to stay up like finishing it because I couldn't write at a normal speed. My IEP said that my cat work and homework could 
to be cut down some so that what some of my teeth sores did and I understand all the work and that I'm slow at grinding everything down. So I ask, do you ever get frustrated when you try to do something? Yes, that was mainly a big problem in school. I would get frustrated when I try to keep up in class. Or if I had a time limit to finish something, there have been times I would try to do something over and over again, and I would have put it aside, take a break, and try it again later. Fifteen minutes, handling and cope with daily struggles. I don't keep trying things until I get them. If I can't do something, I'm trying to find a different way to do it that works for me. And the last question comes from Paulina. What advice would you give? to those who are holding and struggling with a disability, bullying, or those who don't feel motivated to walk on their dreams. I've been there. I was pushed, mocked, not that made fun of, had lines made about me being called, Names, so I know how hard it can be. If you are going through struggles and all bullying, I want you to know things do get better, a lot better. I know you may feel like it will never end, but it does. The Bad things other people say about you are not true. You are unique. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are loved. And there is a reason why you are here. You may not see the reason why yet, but you will later. Keep hope. Keep strong and never ever give up. Take me some for watching. Bye.